please subscribe to this channel and also tap the notification bell in order for you not to miss out on any of our videos. The self-styled commander of the Bui Warriors, an Amazonian armed group in the Bui Division Northwest region, popularly called Field Marshal Isubu, died. He died on Friday, April 8, 2022, but not on the battleground against the government forces. He was allegedly killed by the sword of his own comrades in the Amazonian War of Independence. There is something peculiar about the dreaded Amazonian front-line commanders. They always die after an infighting over who controls which territory or on a revenge mission. Although nothing concrete has been said about the death of Field Marshal Insubu, surrogates from the various political and pressure groups have blamed each other for the death. On January 25, 2020, the former leader of the Bui Warriors, Chacha, was killed under unclear circumstances and his body was used as the war trophy by the government forces in Kumbo. What led to his death was a result of the disappearance of more than two dozen of fighters who arrived Kumbo for an assignment in 2020 but never returned. It is alleged that Chacha and his boys at that time neutralized their own comrades. These allegations have never been proven, nor have those who said they are not guilty proved their innocence. Before the death of Insobu, there had been the creation of a platform called the Bui Unity Warriors. This platform never received the benediction of the late Insobu, who also saw it as a threat to his command in the division. The creation of this group by another dreaded commander, General No P.T., was the beginning of infighting, attacks and counter-attacks. Insobu is not the first to have died in this fight. His group has succeeded to eliminate some forces loyal to no PT. So why have these fighters not been able to unite? Some diaspora Ambazonia activists have been accused of fueling the conflict between groups on Ground Zero.